right, so we're here at the DIY detail booth uh, playing with their new polisher. So Ivan tells me that it's designed with the battery in the center so that it mimics the feel of a uh, corded polisher and the balance of a corded polisher. So you're not holding the battery, you're instead holding the polisher the way that you would with a corded machine. Um, so we can uh, spread it out like we normally would. So there's a trigger lock and then a very minimal amount of effort required to Okay. Move the machine back and forth. Okay. It's really smooth. Uh, my first time using a 25 millimeter orbit. Is it 25, right, Ivan? Yep. Okay. So first time using a 25 millimeter orbit, used to the normal 15, but um, the 25 was chosen to get a little bit more cut, a little bit faster cut, right? Is that yeah. correct? And it, a 25 millimeter is actually smoother. Okay. You get less chance of micro marring. Okay. The longer stroke. So yeah, first impressions is actually really cool. I mean, obviously this is a this is a beta unit right it's okay. it's uh 3d printed and yeah that's hand painted last, that's the last of the 3d prints to okay. verify the mold and then from there we're uh, going into production starting the, well they're making the mold starting next week okay and then uh, we're going to production. when do you expect it'll be available mid-march mid-march okay cool and all the usual car supplies warehouse diy detail directly yeah. house of rags all exactly. the usual suspects will be carrying it exactly. right out of the gate okay Cool, and then um, these are Makita style batteries, Makita is that correct? batteries, so you can put the adapter to okay. use your Milwaukee batteries or DeWalt batteries if you want. Okay. It comes with two batteries, two backing plates, so five and six inch backing plate. Okay. And uh, fast charger, so we're using an eight amp charger. Okay. That, as it charges, the first 80%, it floods the battery. Okay. So getting to that 80% very quickly, 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and then the last 20%, it's a slow charge just to fill in all the... Kind of like your iPhone, right? Yeah, where, same where, thing as Where it fast charges at the beginning because it has more available capacity to accept the current, but yeah. then, okay. The, the way I like to put it is, you've got a stadium with no reserve seating. Right. They open the doors, everybody floods in, the first 80% of people find a seat really quick. Right. Then the other 20% are hunting and looking for that one little seat. Left got it, go. got it, awesome. And the Makita batteries, from what I understand, were chosen because that's an open, Open source. Uh, open source design where Makita allows other manufacturers to use their connection system. They encourage it. They encourage it. Yeah. Because people are more likely to buy the high-end Makita batteries, exactly. right? At some point, if yeah. they need a replacement. Or if you've got a polisher that uses a Makita battery and you need a drill, which one are you going to get? Yeah. No, I hear you. That, that that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Milwaukee or Milwaukee and DeWalt are uh, very much against it, and so is Ryobi. With the prototypes, the Ryobi battery was actually the best. Well, Ryobi is TTC also, just just yeah, like Milwaukee. Yeah, same, 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 same ownership yeah, yeah. company. Yeah. yeah, that's that's interesting that the Ryobi batteries perform the best. I wonder if it has something to do with a lack of protection circuitry or something not, like no, that. No, not perform. I mean, oh, physically. Oh, or, physically. You know, they look the best. Gotcha. But the we tried a lengthwise battery. Mm -hmm. We tried a battery that went into the machine on a 45 degree angle. We tried it at a 30 degree angle. We tried all sorts of different methods. I made a U-shaped battery, and the center of the <laughs> center of the drill looked like a frame of a lotus. That's least. funny. Uh, but choosing the open source battery, that way we, we're not reinventing the battery. The battery already exists. Mm -hmm. And actually the side to side placement of the battery actually helps in balancing the tool. Okay. So I think of someone walking a tightrope. They okay. always have their arms out and yeah. they have that long balance beam. That's what the battery does. Um, as far as the, uh, the, the nose cone feels a little bit different than the old ones. Is this thicker on the front? Yeah, that one on the, that rotary, it's a little thicker. Mm -hmm. The one on the uh, DA is roughly the same shape as our... Got it. The, yeah, the corded one, I remember it was it, it was a little bit thinner little at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very cool. And then, so this is the rotary, um, obviously pretty standard rotary. You speed one, like, yes. is, is what you've yep. always recommended.
Very cool. Very cool. I think I killed your battery. Oh, we have more. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I mean, this, this works really well. It's easy to control. Uh, it's easy to balance, kind of like you said. Um, so four pounds on the front, one pound on the back is kind of the, 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 so the balance. Five and a half total, including the battery. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Well, um, I'll let you uh, I'll let you do your video, and then um, I'll mess around the pad washer after. Okay. Here we have the DIY detail pad washer system. So it looks like it's a grit guard top that can work on any bucket that you want to use. So this would actually be pretty inexpensive to ship. This is a 3D printed prototype. The real ones will be out in February. Um, they're using a uh, rinseless wash, a couple sprays on the pad, and then running the machine in here. And it actually works really well. Let me, um, let me set this up, I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So, as you know, I have the uh, Lake Country Pad Washer, and I really like the Lake Country Pad Washer, but if you don't stay down in the pad washer, you end up getting a spray that comes out of here. And I'll usually make it so that doesn't happen by putting my hand right here and kind of spraying my hand and also myself, especially when I'm using the three inch, like the Merca. So I like that they designed this so that this sits really deep inside the pad washer. So we've got some rinseless diluted, 256 to one, it just happens to be in an all clean bottle. Put a couple sprays on here. And then we, um... Works really well. It's a much simpler option than the Lake Country Pad Washer. No moving parts. Um, my press plate on mine has a couple little cracks on it. I do like the Lake Country Pad Washer, the fact that it actually sprays liquid for you and is kind of a self-contained unit. But I was actually asking Ivan, I wonder if we could put something like this top piece on the Lake Country and get the best of both worlds. But uh, this works really well. It's nice and simple. It'd be great for like a DIYer, a person at home. You know, this is great for uh, your average Joe um, rather than something that's uh, as expensive and elaborate as the Lake Country machine is. So really, really cool. 